Hi, my name is Jade Yasmin, and this is how I became a visual artist. I started creating art at a very young age. Can't even remember, it was like maybe four. I was painting on the walls, drawing on the walls. <laughs> you know, my parents would be really mad at me. They're like, okay, we just painted these walls and you're drawing over it. But they actually helped me be myself. They didn't really scold me on drawing on the mail or anything like that I wasn't supposed to. And it just inspired me to keep going. I was 19 when I became a visual artist. I was living in Florida at the time. I was just drawing random people in my room. And I think it was just the fact that I would share it with people. I would share it with my friends, my close friends. On social media, this is when Instagram was really popping at the time. And I saw the reactions and it was very reinforcing. And it actually inspired me to keep going and have put a lot more detail in it a lot more creativity in it. It's just, I loved it and that's what inspired me. I came to LA to work with a mentor. I met my mentor, Mike, through social media. I just sent a blind email to his assistant at the time. And I said, look, I'm enamored by your work. You know, I would love to just be a fly on the wall and just see your process, see your paintings in person. And I wasn't even expecting a response. I'm just like, I'm just gonna send this and see where it goes. Got a response like a week later and I flew out to LA my first time and it was just amazing. And then I got the job on the spot. So, and I trained with him for about a year and he works with oil soup, but I didn't go to a formal school or anything like that. It's just practice, practice, practice. I go do it every single day. Like this is what I was doing besides going out and <laughs> having a social life, you know? <laughs> the most basic form of art is with graphite, that's stone. And then you move into acrylic, which is a lot more fast drying. It's a lot more, simplest way I can put it is probably water-based. And then oils obviously are a lot more oil-based. It's a lot richer in colors, so you get more vibrancy. And that allows the paintings that I create now to be a lot more vivid and captivating. I think what sets my art apart from other artists, um, is like specifically my art style is portraiture. I love everything about faces. I love looking at the faces around me. Even as a little girl, I would just study people's faces when they were mad, when they were sad. Any emotion, I would just microanalyze it and I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. So I found a way to place that passion into something that I love doing. The big challenges that I've had to face coming into the art industry is there's very seldom women and especially women of color. There's not a lot of us in this industry and we have to actually pave our way to be seen that's actually another reason why I paint so big because I want women of color, women in general, to be seen in a space. People are paying attention to you. <laughs> a piece I'm really proud of, and still to this day, I'm very proud of it. It was the first self-portrait that I did of myself and it wasn't anything special at all. It was smaller than what I work with now. It was like 30 by 30, I believe. I did it in 2019 and it was just a simple picture of me with dreads and I had stones and stuff in my hair. I was like wrapped in a Nigerian wrap. I don't know, it just felt really regal and I never painted myself in that way. So that was important to me because it boosted my self-confidence. Like I would paint other people, but that was the first time I really painted myself in that way, so. Last year was the first time I went to Art Basel and I it was just such a surreal experience. Oh my gosh, like, I think that was the first time my art was shown 
on a large scale to people. And I actually got a chance to feel their emotions and see what they're saying. You know, it's different online where people are just saying, oh, this looks great, da 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 da. But when you're in person, you actually see people like, oh, like some people were tearing up, <laughs> which was really amazing. Some people were tearing up. Some people were telling me how the Harriet Tubman piece made them feel and Mae Jemison. It was just amazing to actually hear people's stories in person. Hearing them talk to me, it was just, it was amazing. How I got the opportunity to go to Art Basel um, last year was I actually worked for the gallery here in LA through my mentor, Art Angels. And I work with them still to this day. And I just showed them my ideas. I showed them what I wanted presented and they helped me out too. Like I had meetings with them and we came up with something that would basically work for the show that they were curating in Miami. So if you want to get started as an aspiring artist and show in Art Basel, I would just collaborate with a gallery in your city. The biggest difference that I see in myself now versus when I first started in the art industry is I'm a lot more social and I'm a lot more willing to just talk with other artists about their process. I would be so private with my own and I didn't realize that, that was just holding me back. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that and also just my ideas. I'm very confident in my ideas now. Before I would just overthink. I was a huge perfectionist and I would just overthink, oh, I don't know if this is the right thing to paint, but now I just know that nothing is really perfect and you just go the flow. Art is so subjective. I feel like a piece is completed when you just, when you just know, you just know. <laughs> um, before, when I first started out, everything was deadlines, right? You had to have something done in two weeks, you had to uh, done in a week or whatever timeline you have. And as you get more established and more into your career, those deadlines are kind of non-existent now. So it's like, whenever you feel like it's done, that's when it's done. So something I would tell younger version of myself, little Jade, just chill. I, I could tell her a million different things, but if I had to pick one thing, just chill out. Like something I would tell an aspiring artist, really do your research, know your history, be confident in your skills. Don't be too afraid to ask questions and um, ask the people around you for support and um, just be confident in yourself. So something that I can't disclose at the moment, but um, something that's coming in the future is a lot more projects around the LA area, being out of the studio more, doing more um, outdoor projects. So yeah, I'm excited for that. You got the scoop on Between Us Curls. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Curly Culture. Can you move your mic a little bit off? I can hear your heartbeat. <laughs> a little invasive. <laughs> hey you guys, what's up? I'm Ava Pearl, founder of Curly Culture, a community for people with all types of curly hair, from a 2A to a 4C. Let us know what you guys want to see in the comments below, and we'll see you guys on our next episode. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.